What's up, Space Cadets? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. And here we are back in our awesome, awesome base. I've got a lot of good things for you today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to run the drills. Now, the reason that the drill, the, the stone was getting so backed up here in my small, container, my small cargo container is because uh, there was a lot of stuff in the refinery that was going slow. I think there was some um, some cobalt in there and some whatever. There was, a, there was a few things in there that was slung everything down. I think this refinery can actually keep up with the drill. But I'm thinking, you know, even though that might be the case, I probably want some kind of large storage container um, as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to drag this large, this large storage container down here. Man, it's going to be really expensive. Oh boy, I don't know. I didn't realize it'd be that expensive. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Let's let's just run the drill and see how you know how backed up stuff gets. I, I don't want to obviously have everything get totally backed up. Um, also, I noticed that the pist uh, the the block for the drill also has the pistons on it. I'm not quite sure how I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna do the drill. All right. I'm going to make sure everything is, you know, not everything's selected. I'm gonna do the drill. Um, drill three, drill four, and drill five. All right. Base drills. Okay. Now, hopefully, when that's selected, it's not also selecting the pistons. I don't know how those pistons got on there, but they're not on there anymore. Because, like, when I was trying to turn off the pistons, they were all, you know, getting screwy and everything. All right. Well, that, that works out pretty well. Um, so, let's come on in here, and let's go ahead to the control panel, and let's turn on the drills. And then let's do um, piston one. And I think we can do piston two at the same time because we probably already went pretty... I'm sorry, piston seven and piston six. I'm going to go slow with these just because I'm super paranoid, you know. Um, and we're just going to kind of do one drill at a time and just, you know, have that. Uh, let me bring you up the speed on what I'm going to be doing today. Today I'm going to be making a regular assembler and a regular refinery. I'm going to make the assembler first. And these are going to be built pretty dirty. Um, I'm not going to, like, know exactly where to put them. I know they have certain ports on them that allow you to over like um, uh, put upgrades on them and stuff. I'm just not super familiar with where those ports go. I think it's the small ports. But, you know, I don't really know how I want to put these down. So right now, I just want to get the re I just want to get the assembler down so we can, you know, make stuff a lot quicker. All right? That's what I really want to do. I want to make stuff a lot quicker. Um, the refinery seems to be refining at a decent pace. Um, I think the uh, what I want most is the assembler right now. And then what I'm going to do when that's built is I'm going to expand the base out this way quite a bit. And this is going to be my main... Um, I think when I come inside to the base, event, like eventually when it's done, this will be kind of like an entrance room, right? And then over here will be maybe like a control panel room. I'm going to make a control panel for the drill rig, right? And uh, then you'll come into the base proper over here. All right, let's see how far that is down. Because I, I was running this a little bit. I was showing my wife because I was so proud. I was so happy. <laughs> she was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was very happy about it. All right, so now that that one's down, let's go to piston number six. And turn that on. And reverse. There we go. And now we should be drilling some stone. All right, so that's that's what I'm thinking about with the base. I was going to put in a large cargo container, but man, it is really, really expensive. I'm going to have to go out and get some more iron. And I think what I want to do next episode is I, I'm banking on next episode to use. Now, I don't know exactly how this works or if this will actually, like, screw with me or not. I don't know. But what I want to do next episode is right down here at the bottom, I've got the projector. I was thinking about getting a, um, a recipe for a vehicle that can connect to a ship that I can drive out and save power that can also carry a lot more than my ship can. Um, that's what I'm looking for next episode. We'll have to see about that. I also want to make a control panel for that drill ship at some point. All right. I got to change the thing that switches the, uh, the, the hot car, hot bar keys because it's the same as my duck key. I changed my duck key because duck is supposed to be, oh boy, hold on. Hold on. I think we already filled up. Well, let's take a look really quick. Are we full? Yeah, we're full as hell. All right, yeah, we really need that. Okay, hold on. This is not good. Uh, turn off the drills. I don't want to be losing stone, right? And then we're going to go there and go there, and we're going to bring these up. Do we need really need to bring them up? Honestly, we really don't. Uh, well, we need to stop that one, that's for sure. That was probably just pressing into the ground without the drill on. Oops. Oopsie. All right, that's fine. All right, so the first thing, I want to get that, that giant storage container but it's gonna take forever in the the you know basic assembler so i want to finish up this assembler first 
So let's go ahead and, what is it, right click? There we go. It's in the building planner now. Uh, well, we already had one in the building planner. So let's do it again. There we go. Now it's in the building planner. And now shift middle mouse button. All components successfully put into production. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's going to be hard to remember that stuff for a while, but, you know, I'll eventually get it. I will eventually get it. So let's take a look at what's going on with our stone here. Yeah, we've got a lot of stone being processed. Yeah, yeah, the basic refineries. Um, obviously pretty slow with the stone. We're gonna get a regular refinery up for sure. Um, I went down the hole and we didn't we didn't have any excess stone like bumping around down there in the hole, so we didn't lose anything. So that's great. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty freaking sweet, man. I'm not gonna lie, I really really like that a lot. All right, so while that's doing its thing, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna use our time to efficiency. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue building out the base. I don't want to go any farther than this because it's going to start being a problem with the grass, right? So I think that's going to be the edge of the base. I mean, I can always get rid of the grass by digging holes and stuff, but I got a lot of room here. There's no reason to go digging holes. There we go. Now, one thing I do not like about being on a planet is when I used to play this game and I was in space, it was really cool because what I did was I made a ship that had ship, um, uh, ship welders, right? And then what you do is you just fly your ship and like weld up your base with your ship. And it was phenomenal. You're not really going to be able to do that on the on the planet. Maybe you can if you're some kind of like good builder or whatever. But I'm very basic with this game. Um, in order to get a ship like looking in the proper direction uh, with all the components it's going to have on it, it's going to be heavy. That's going to be out of my, um, out of my uh, you know, area of expertise right now. Uh, so that kind of blows. But, you know, if I start using the projector and I start using other people's builds, then I could probably uh, get something like that going on. And that would be great. So I do like this little entrance right here, but I think it's got to go because I do want to expand the base this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like that. And I do put down supports where I believe they should go. You don't need supports. I don't, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's any um, structural integrity in this game, which I think they should have personally, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. Can't have everything. All right, so there we go, and that stuff should be just about done. Okay, we got the assembler built, and like I said, I think these little ports right here are for upgrades, um, you know, which we're not going to mess around with right now, not in this video, but it's pretty interesting that they have one on the front, too. I thought they were all, like, on the back, or maybe this is supposed to be the back, but if that's the back, yeah, it's weird. They have them here and here, so what's the front and the back? Is This this has got to be the front, right? So you're going to have the upgrade stuff on the sides, right? It's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. All right. So this should be hooked up to the system. Now, uh, let's go ahead and what are we going to need for this big old mamma jamma? We're going to need interior plates. So let's have this dude make us some interior plates. Uh, how many are we going to need? I don't know. Let's just make 20 for now. All right. Cool. It's all hooked up properly. Everything's going good. That's great. So let's go ahead and put this down. And I don't really know how I'm going to build out in this area just yet. Um, oh my god, this thing's ginormous. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, well, I want it to be in a spot where it can get hooked up to the system. So actually, it should probably go over here. Over here would probably be a better spot for it anyway, because this is eventually gonna be my storage, uh, actually, I might have a storage area in a separate place, because I didn't, the storage takes up a lot of room. This is gonna be, like, my building area, where I put all my, like, processors and assemblers and everything, and I'm also gonna be putting my, um, uh, my storage over here, but I'm not sure where. Now, this right here is going to be a dead zone. I don't think I'm going to put anything here. Uh, pro I have no plans to put anything here. So, I think this would be a good spot to put that big storage container. So, it's out of the way, and eventually we can move stuff around. And it'll also be easier to hook it up to the system. Um, this is going to be ugly. I did not think about how to hook stuff up to the system when I started making this stuff. But, that's all right. Let's uh, go right in here and let's grab some of this and make some more of these. Actually, you just make a few hundred of those. We're going to need them anyway. I know we are. All right. So that should be good enough for now. And let's go ahead and build out this platform for the storage area. My God, that thing is monstrous. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Now we got to hook it up to the system. All right. I think I lined it up with this one. I did. So let's go ahead and grab our conveyor stuff. I'm... I'm I'm actually uh, avoiding these other hot bars just because I want to deal with the duck thing. I, I really got to look into that. I'm not sure I'm going to handle it. Duck has got to be control for me. I mean, that's just, I mean, come on now. Like, <laughs> what are we, savages? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put that right there. And we are going to use uh, tubes to get up. 
All right now that shouldn't mess with the uh, piston the pistons you can't put things like certain blocks too close to pistons because they will try and move other blocks right like if you put a block like a regular block right next to a piston it could cause serious issues you got to be careful when putting ne things next to pistons i'm not 100 percent sure on how it works which makes me a little nervous but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna save the game um often <laughs> you know, that's my that's my number one uh you know piece of advice save the game often all right so let's go ahead and do that and there we go that should work all right so we've got uh let's just dump everything we have in these all right now we don't have anything else all right so now we're just going to grab one of these in the build planner let's clear out the build planner grab that and that's one two three four five six seven eight all right so we come in here now uh, can i just do it from here can I just do it from here? Um, <clears throat> what was it? Uh, shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if it did it eight times. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, it did. Beautiful. It actually kept them separate, so it'll build one right after the other. That's pretty sweet. All right, so now I got some low power. I'm just get like I said. I'm just gonna sit in the cockpit. I just find it more relaxing than having to hold down a button. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold down a button. Oh, if you look down in the bottom left there, I did I did do some uh, extra building there, put up some walls. I'm kind of starting to plan out the base a little bit. Um, also, I do think I want to turn on enemies at some point. I keep forgetting to, to be perfectly honest. Um, are there like, uh, well, there's turrets, right? Yes, yeah, so we got turrets here. Gatling turret. Yeah, I can make that. I mean, it's pretty expensive, but yeah, I, I do want to turn on. I, the thing is, I'm brand new to this game. It's a very difficult game for me um, and a lot of other people. So I don't need the added problem of, you know, freaking animals or whatever coming in to attack me. Uh, we should probably check out that, that signal as well. Um, no, you know, we could do that now. Is there a reason not to? Not really. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go check it out. Um, yeah, I don't need the extra uh, issues of, like, enemies coming in and attacking me. I just... I mean, eventually, that's something I do look forward to. I do like that kind of stuff. Um, just not... You know, when I'm trying to learn the game... Is this thing off? I do think it is. Oh, oh the batteries. That's right. Okay. Well, because I have a platform up here, it didn't fall off. So that's awesome. All right, battery. Why is it showing? The oh, because it's not connected anymore. Toggle on. Why are these off? All right, both batteries were off. I don't remember why I turned them off. The batteries are tricky because if you have them on recharge, you could deplete the battery, you know, supplying your base with power. Where's that, um, where's that marker? That green marker? It's not, it's not showing up anymore. Hold on. Let me look in GPS. Uh, respawn pod. No, no. I'm not sure what new was. Respawn pod. Hmm. I saw, I saw a mark over here just when I was at my base. Am I too far away from it now, or... Hey, right, guys, we are back at the base, and... I don't know, I must have did something wrong with the build planner, because I'm, I'm missing motors. Maybe I was missing a component or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to kind of go and see what's going on here. Yeah, it's just... It didn't make the motors. I, I probably did something wrong. All right. Also, that little green signal, I went back and watched the video, because I thought I was going crazy. And yeah, no, that, that little green signal was definitely there. I don't know... What the heck is going on? But maybe those signals like only last for a certain amount of time. That's the only thing I can think of. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we are going to grab one of these. And oh, it's a lot of steel tubes too. All right. I'm just going to, uh, why don't we grab one of these? And it looks like we need about three of those and I'll make some other motors, uh, by hand. Uh, is it shift? I'm getting a little confused on what's what. All components. Okay, so that put all the components in. Pr no, it's only six. So yeah, because I need three of them. Shift, shift. So that should be enough for all of them. Yeah, so that should be enough for all of them. Then I'll make a few more motors just to make sure I have enough inventory. Oh, it's because I didn't have enough room in my inventory. That's why. I probably don't need all these. That's right. I didn't have enough room. See, the thing is with my inventory, that's why you need a welding ship. So... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will look for a welding ship. Uh, you know, on the um, on the old workshop, we'll see. Okay, there we go and there we go and there we go. All right, so that should all be hooked up. Let's make sure. God, we have to make a, like a walking platform up there or something. All right, large cargo container holds a lot of stuff. All right, so let's just go over here and see if we can put stuff in the large cargo container from over here. And if we can, we're good to go. 
Uh, small. Oh, it's it's empty. Yeah, there we go. Uh, drill, drill, medium cargo container, re refinery survival kit. Um, large cargo container. Yep, that's the one. Okay. And we can put stuff in there. So that's it. All right, let's set up those. Let's do the drill rig now. No, let's save first, just in case we screw something up. Save and save often. All right, so um, turn on the drills. Okay, and then I believe we're on piston number six. What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? Hmm. I don't know. All right, so we're looking good. So let's make sure all of the piston number seven. Piston number seven is already extended. Out fully. Does it tell you? Yeah, current position 10 meters. This is current position 10 meters as well. So this is current position. All right, so this one's already extended all the way. Let's just turn it on. Turn it on. 10 meters, 10 meters. All right, so we're on piston number five. All right. So reverse, please. And power. Unlimited power! Okay. Okay. And it is going down. All right, piston number five. There we go, 2.8. And we should be getting some stone now. So let's take a look. There we go, we got some stone there. And where's that large car container? I'd like to... Uh, is there a way to organize these c containers in the way you want them to be? Like, I want, like, certain... I want certain things to be in certain areas. I don't know if there's a way to do that, but if there is, let me know, please. All right, so there you go. Now we can get a lot of stone. That's not. I'm not gonna have to worry about it for now. Yep. And now we now we're gonna get stone coming out of our ears. Hell yeah, hell's yeah. So piston number five is at max. So now we go to piston number four, and reverse and turn it on. Wow. This hole's going to get dug out a little bit quicker than I thought now because we got that big cargo container. I think we're going to have to either rebuild this or maybe put some rotors at the top to kind of turn it. Or, we, oh, maybe we could put a piston at the top going sideways to move it out. We're going to have to take these five pistons apart no matter what we do. I mean, with the rotor, we could probably turn the drills, but that, that wouldn't get us that much more stone. It's just because the middle one would still be drilled out, but I guess it would still be fine. All right. And where is it? There it is. 150, uh, 57, 59. Yeah, this we can keep this going for quite a while. We can keep that going for quite a while, people. That is freaking awesome. Well, that's everything I wanted to do this episode. So I guess what we'll do now is we'll just work on the base. Why not? All right. So what I'm going to do before I work on the base is I'm going to take out and put away everything. Uh, where do I put this stuff? Does it matter? Uh, I guess I could just put it in a large, large cargo container. Sure, why not? And then I think I'm going to empty this one out and get this out of here. Well, actually, I do like having a container that's not hooked up to the system, just separate for, like, reasons that I don't really understand, but I guess, you know, we're fine. Um, so now that we have the... Oh, no, we're not done. We still need to make the, uh, refinery. That's right. The refinery... Okay, well, we'll do that then. Uh, oh, this thing's big. Wow. Um, is there one right there? Nope. Uh, is there... I'm looking for open ports. So there's one open port right there. A big one. There's th Those are ones for the upgrades, which we'll get around to at some point. That's an open port. Alright, so it looks like there's one on the back and the front. So what we could probably do is... We could probably put it down like this. And that would be fine. Steel plates. Alright, we need some steel plates. Lucky I got lots of steel plates. Four. And with, the thing is, once I get this made, I could take this whole freaking monstrosity apart. And rebuild it, like, better. Still not perfect, but better. So that's right there. And that's right there. That's looking okay for this build. Okay, sure. Why not? So we'll put everything we have in here, and then we will do a build planner to get it finished. Okay. It's so slow. I could probably upgrade this thing again. I'll look into that later. We won't do this this video. 
Uh, grab that, that, and that. Grab anything that is... No, nope, we're not getting any more stuff. Hold on. Hold on! Five is extended. Four is extended. Three. Now, three is the last one that goes the opposite way. And the other ones go the other way. It's kind of hard to explain. And I need I should really, like, name those better so I know which ones go which way. All right, build planner. Wait, hold on. Let's make sure. Yeah, I see it. Still stuff in the build planner. I, I always imagine when I'm done with the thing I'm using um, in the build planner, I, um, I always imagine that it goes away, but it doesn't. Uh, shift. Okay. Everything was added to production. Very good. It's quite expensive. We should have enough. Uh, 320,000 stone. 320,000 mother effing stone. That's that's not even including the stuff we have in other places. That's kind of awesome. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come on over here. We're going to save the game because we're about to do something new with the pistons. Um, so we're looking for piston number two. And this needs to go... Well, it's just reverse. That's it. You just hit reverse again. It's that simple. Make sure it's not moving. Not missing anything. Nope. Now we just go reverse, and that one should de like detract or whatever, and that should bring it down even more. Now, how is this gonna work? I don't freaking know, man. This is the first time I've done it with this with this kind of piston. Well, let's find out. Ooh, so far, so good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's working just fine. Ooh, I kind of like that thing, man. <laughs> I really do. That's like my favorite thing I've built so far. Yep, stone's still coming in. Plenty of room. We haven't even gotten half the cargo container room, so... All right, guys, really quick. I'm still waiting for stuff to be made for that, um, and it's taking a while, but we've got 563,000 stone, plus another 33,000, plus another 10,000. Uh, yeah, so we've got, what? I don't know, almost 600,000 stone or whatever. Um, and the drills are now done. They're as far as they can go. This thing is now useless, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that's fun. We'll look for the next challenge. I think what I want to do next is maybe put the, um, the, the, the pistons in this spot. Maybe put one there and one there. And then extend them both out. And then, you know, you could drill here. And then bring them in. Drill here. And then bring them in, drill here. I mean, I think that's the best way to go. Rotors is the obvious solution. <laughs> um, but, I don't know. Uh, me, yeah, maybe we'll mess with rotors. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring all of that stuff up. I'm just going to reverse everything. And I should just be able to do this, right? And I should be able to reverse all these at the same time. Uh, well, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Doing something new. Alright, piston, 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 piston. And reverse. Now that should all just go right back to the way it was. Because I want to fly down there and see how long the hole is. Look at that. Hells yeah. Alright guys, just finished the uh, the refinery. And let's check this out. See, so yeah, this, this holds a lot more. And it's also got... I think... I'm thinking the refinery actually gives you a better yield. Like, if the basic refinery gives you like 1 nickel or 0.1 nickel per stone, I think this one gives you like more than that. You know, so it gives you actually more per stone, which I really should have built it a lot earlier, but that's okay. Um, let's now, will the old refinery be used? Um, basic refinery. Yeah, the, the basic refinery is still being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to turn off the basic refinery. Off. We're also going to turn off the basic assembler. Off. Now I'm wondering if it'll allow stuff to still pass through if it has no power. I think it does, but I don't know for sure. I think it does, but honestly, I really don't know for sure. Uh, but you know what? It might, it might not matter. Well, we could we could kind of check it out. Um, so let's go to the basic refinery and see if we could, if we could pick this up and put it into here. Then they don't need power to bring stuff through. They don't need power to bring stuff through. Okay. So I'm just gonna put everything in here because we're gonna be taking that um we're gonna be taking that basic refinery apart. All right, guys. You know what? I think we're done here. Made some hella progress. I'm um, really happy with the way this base... It's a bit of a smorgasbord of monstrosity at the moment, but I'm just trying to figure out how things work for the time being. And then, you know, we're going to make a proper base. And uh, like I said, um, I'm debating... I, I think next episode... I'm going to be recording next episode right away, so I should probably make up my mind. But I'm thinking about using that... Um, uh, I'm thinking next episode to use the projector to maybe bring in a vehicle of some sort. Um, so... 
you know, I'll think about that. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, uh, you know, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.